And first at five, businesses in the Northwoods are struggling due to the lack of snow, and now they are looking for ways to stay afloat through the rest of this uncertain season. News 9's Nick Robinson is joining us from Vilas County. He has a look at how some of them are doing what they can to keep their heads above water. As winter drags on with less snow and warmer weather, it's starting to have a ripple effect on businesses across the Northwoods to the tune of millions of dollars in lost income. We are definitely um, approaching the point of no return. Most winters, it's not an uncommon sight to see more snowmobiles than cars in the parking lots of places like Slow's Pub. But with Mother Nature holding back on the amount of snowfall so far this year, they've been forced to make adjustments. I mean, I've got waitresses that are in tears because they're not making any money right now. I mean, it's, you know, we tried to set up the schedule for snowmobile season, then we had to change it all because we don't need anybody here. So we've had to cut back on a lot of the staff. Slominski said that her and her staff have had to rely on other events like their Super Bowl party to keep the doors open. Other members of the community are concerned about the slow snowmobile season as well. Crystal Westfall from Let's Minocqua says the outlook isn't looking good for snowmobilers. As far as we know, this has been the first season that they may not open at all during the season. Westfall also isn't going down without a fight. She's rallied local business owners in search of help from Madison. She says that since the state has protections for farming in case of bad crop years, that there should also be protections for small businesses that rely on winter tourism. And I know it's not apples to apples, and I've said this before, but you know our our farming economy is is so um, crucial to our uh, our state's economy. We don't have anything official that we can help support our small businesses when uh, you know our seasons don't pan out. She says that businesses in the Northwoods have already lost around 6.5 million dollars and could lose more if something doesn't change soon. Westfall told me that her and a group of business owners are in talks with the state legislature to see what can be done, but nothing has been set in stone just yet. In Vilas County, Nick Robinson, News 9, WAOW.